Welcome to the show that takes a look back to help you move forward. It's the Weekly Report. For Randall Riley, I'm Joshua Miller. Now let's get to why you're here. Let's dive into the numbers. This week in job board searches and clicks. Truck driver searches were down across the board. We saw declines of 11% week over week, 19% month over month, and 15% year over year. For clicks on truck driver postings, we saw an increase of 35% week over week, a 1% decline month over month, and an increase of 49% year over year. Although searches dropped, the click rate rose sharply, indicating that those drivers who are searching are likely serious and not just browsing. This week in freight. Load postings fell by 9% week over week with all three major segments seeing declines. Dry van was down 13%, refrigerated dropped 3%, and flatbed saw an 8% decline week over week. Truck availability rose by 9% week over week, and while I don't have the individual segment percentage breakdowns, we do know that the availability was higher for each of the three major segments, and the load to truck ratio fell to its lowest point since Labor Day week. Spot rates fell by four cents per mile week over week, and that overall decline carried over to all three segments. Dry van dropped by two cents, refrigerated fell by 14 cents, and flatbed saw a decrease of two cents per mile week over week. Now, the story of the week. There's been talk of a truck driver shortage for quite some time, but just how many drivers are needed to meet the current demand? Well, Jason Miller, Miller, that sounds like a smart guy, Mr. Miller is a tenured associate professor of logistics at Michigan State's Broad College of Business. Try fitting that on a business card. Anyhow, Jason set out to find exactly how many drivers would be needed to balance the, the demand for truck transportation with the supply of capacity. His answer? 25,000 truck drivers are needed. How do you arrive at that number? Well, get ready for a lot of numbers and figures. The demand for truck transportation from a ton-mile standpoint is down 1.5% for Q2 2021 relative to Q2 2018. Miller expects demand for truck transportation will remain at its Q2 2021 levels for the remainder of the year. And according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, trucking employment for general freight, long-distance truckload, and LTL firms was approximately 790,000 in Q4 2018 a demand environment akin to what we're experiencing right now. Employment stood at 765,000 when the majority of the data was released for June 2021. This data suggests a gap of 25,000 employees. Now, Miller does emphasize that the information does not report on self-employed truck drivers. That being said, if self-employed workers today exceed what there were in late 2018 and 2019, then the 25,000 driver shortage estimate would be an overestimation. However, the converse is also true, meaning if there are less self-employed drivers now than in 2018 and 2019, the shortage would be even larger than the 25,000 estimate. If recent hiring trends continue, or even slow slightly, it is possible that the 25,000 worker gap can be closed by early 2022. In June and July of 2021, carriers were able to add an average of 6,200 workers every month. However, for the period between May 2020 and May 2021, fleets added only 1,700 employees per month. If that rate were to continue, it could take nearly 15 months to close the worker gap. And that does it for the weekly report. We hope this information has been useful to you. Don't forget, if you'd like to look over any of the numbers or figures we've covered here, you can download our weekly driver recruiting insights PDF which covers everything we talked about here today. You can find links to that download on the blog page for this report, and it's also available in the description for the report video on our YouTube page. And if you head over to that YouTube page, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next week, have a great week, everybody. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. If you liked it, don't forget to like, share, or subscribe. You can subscribe by clicking that little button right over there. And if you like the video, you can find even more content like it on our page or by clicking that playlist right there.